Hey everybody, Ross Finnick here, and this week on Chatterfox, we're going to talk about flair. So, continuing with our uh, convention etiquette videos, I want to talk to you guys about how to deal with a problem, be it medical or, you know, social, at conventions. Very specifically, um, there's a group at conventions, for, at very least the West Coast, uh, called Flare. And, um, by the way, I do apologize for my voice. I am kind of sick. I have been for the last couple days. Um, and I'm still kind of getting over it, so, um, yeah, that's a thing. But anyways, um, Flare. They are essentially the first responders and the, uh, security for conventions, at very least on the West Coast. I don't know if they have them, uh, on East Coast or in Europe, but I'm fairly certain they have the equivalent thereof. Um, so, first things first, and you kind of got to realize this, is Flare always has the number somewhere, uh, very close nearby at conventions. I know that for FC and BLFC, they have the, uh, number for Flare, both to call and to text, on the back of your badge. Um, right there. So, if you need to contact them for any reason, uh, if you're at BLFC or FC, uh, just know that the uh, number four flyer is on the back of your badge, so you always have really quick access to it. Um, the other thing to note is, Flair is very much the uh, you know the security for the convention that works with the convention, not the. Uh, not the uh, hotel. So if you have an issue that is hotel related, Flair can't necessarily help you. Um, but you know, they can try. Um, but anyways, the best thing to do is if you have a medical emergency, call Flair, um, or text Flair really. Anyways, if you have a medical emergency, the best thing to do is to call Flare or text Flare and then call 911 when they're, you know, there and helping. Or, um, you know, contact Flare really quick and if the need arises, contact 911 right afterwards. Um, that, at least that's what I've been told at, uh, conventions. And Flare usually have, uh, areas that they're stationed around the convention, not just in cops. Uh, I remember Kit had a weird story about how he had a uh, guy have an epileptic seizure right next to him at his very first convention, and he didn't know that Flair was literally just right around the corner, so he kind of took a running leap off a flight of stairs and ran all the way to Conops and halfway across the convention hall. Um, and yeah, that had to be embarrassing. Um. Uh, another thing is, if you have a uh, issue with somebody harassing you, or if somebody uh, has started a fight, or what have you, contact Flair. Try to be as uh, nice as possible until Flair arrives. Do not uh, do not confront your uh, harasser too terribly much. Um, I mean, certainly defend yourself if you have to, but leave it as a very last resort. If the person is harassing you, um, a good way to deal with them is to pull out your phone, record them if they're harassing you still, <clears throat> and when Flair arrives, if they're not still there, show Flair the video that you took of them messing with you, uh, or just give them a, or pull out your phone, take a picture, and give Flair a picture of the person doing the harassing, because that actually is going to help them be able to deal with the person. If it becomes an all-out shouting match, and uh, or what have you, there's a chance you might get in just as much trouble as the person who's harassing you. Um, so that's that's a thing. 
because uh, yeah, two wrongs don't make right. Anyways, um, uh, another thing to note is flare actually usually have either a special mark on them. Uh, I know some of them actually wear shirts that say flare on the back of them. Um, some of them will have special uh, ribbons on their badges. Or in some conventions, they even have unique badges to flare. So they're not that hard to find. <clears throat> and if you don't know how to contact them, uh, you can also go up to pretty much any convention staff and say, I need flares assistance. And the member of convention staff will have uh, your location and the issue relayed to flare as quickly as they can. Um, so, yeah. But anyways, I, I guess that's it for now. So until next time, everybody. Bye! <laughs> oh yeah, I want to show our patrons some love too because they're awesome. Their contributions help us to afford all the neat stuff we use to record. So thank you. And um, if you want to become a patron too, you can click the link down in the description. You'd really be helping the channel out and you'd get a couple nifty goodies too. Anyways, if you made it this far in the video, then yay, you're amazing. By the way, subscribe. Please don't make a foxy bag. Mm.